Hi guys, you know about the issue at Gaza war and now it's affected Singapore for no reason. According to the recent news, there's a group of students from Polytechnic, I don't know from what kind of school, from NUS maybe, went to MHA, Ministry of Home Affairs, for some kind of voicing their voice. Not, not really voicing their voice, but send letter to MHA about there's no university in Gaza. So what if there's no university in Gaza? What could I do with Singapore? And I tell you what, all these students are foreigners. I don't think they are Singaporeans, but they are overseas students studying in Singapore. And those students get a student permit, get a viable permit to stay in Singapore, and that is what they're going to do, creating trouble like what is happening in Malaysia, supporting Gaza, supporting Gaza until there's no McDonald's, there's no KFC for anyone to have. So isn't this historic religious harmony? Look at Malaysia, we don't know. Then McDonald's, then KFC, all because of Gaza and Israel war. You know that Singapore want to cut down this kind of freedom of expression or freedom of speech. It's just that Singapore government don't want this kind of thing happen in Singapore to create some kind of religious conflict. Just imagine a, a group of Singaporeans supporting Gaza and they keep on voicing out, I want to boycott Starbucks, I boycott everything that belongs to America. So we should stop this kind of students, ungrateful students, ungrateful overseas students to cause this kind of disaster among Singaporeans. It's a sound kind of separatist, separating Singaporeans to fight against each other. That's why the Singapore government doesn't allow this kind of thing happen in Singapore. But there are some people in Singapore don't understand this kind of consequences, but keep on advocating that it's a kind of human right to express yourself, to speak anything you want, especially for Gaza. What human rights is she talking about? Supporting Gaza? Gaza doesn't even support LGBTQ, alright? Is there a lot of freedom in Gaza? Don't they know that there's a lot of oppression in Gaza? Women don't have a lot of freedom and don't even have human rights in Gaza. So in a way, why should we support Gaza? Don't you find it very hilarious? Human rights groups supporting a country there is lacking of human rights. So I tell you what, these students are really duck headed, screwed in their head. I really don't know where their brains, maybe their brains are in their butt or whatever they are doing at MHA is really a nuisance and really will cause a lot of disharmony among Singaporeans. If they ever started in this kind of behavior, there will be a lot of worse things coming to hate. How I hope not that the police or any authorities at MOE, Ministry of Education or MOM will send this kind of ungrateful students back to their country. If they really love Gaza so much, just go to Gaza and fight the war. Now I'm saying, never subscribe, like and share. Ciao.